like to again welcome everybody by way of internet. We thank you for all your comments and your prayers, and we pray that today's message will be a blessing to you. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be talking today about a broken wing. Amen? Amen. A broken wing. Praise the Lord. Let, let me explain that to you a little bit. A broken wing is a, from a song, praise God, about a dove that had a wing broken. Brother Jake sings this song. He's a uh, it's one of my favorite songs because it reminds me of our own life. It reminds me of so many people that we deal with. Because one way or another, one time or another, it seems like we all have a turn getting a broken wing. Mm -hmm. And when the bird or the dove gets a broken wing, it can't fly. Mm -hmm. And that's when the devil comes and bounces on it and tries to kill it, snuff it out. Mm -hmm. Or at least, at least... It whispers in his ear, you'll never fly again. Mm -hmm. You'll never fly again. And a lot of people believe that lie because of their circumstances that they find themselves in or the sickness that grabs a hold of their body or the torment that has been in their mind and they can't seem to shake it loose or a troubled marriage that seems to be broken and can't seem to be fixed. Our relationship, our friendship that the devil got between and was able to break up after so many years. We all go through broken things sometimes. Some of you right here, sitting here today or watching by internet, you're a broken person. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And here, what does a dove do when it's got a broken? Well, I've seen them. We have a lot of doves in our yard. We feed them and we saw sometimes a cat will get them or something and hurt their wing and they just go in circles. They spin because they're trying to fly again. They're trying to do what they're called to do, do what comes natural to them, but they're not able to. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you did yesterday, you might not be able to do today. Mm -hmm. That happens that quick. Sickness, that quick. A Dear John letter, that quick, when you thought everything was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Then you find out that it wasn't so wonderful after all. Foreclosure on your home that you've worked and labored over for so many years. On and on, all kinds of things. Broken dreams. How many ever had a broken dream? You know, the devil likes to rob, kill, and destroy. He's, it's his job to break things. And here we are, sometimes like that dove, trying to fly again and be more normal, and all we do is go in circles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we forget sometimes to lean on the Lord. Amen. And the Bible says, don't lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways, every way, acknowledge the Lord, and He shall direct your path. God will guide you. God will lead you. When you trust Him, can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Broken dreams, broken homes, broken hearts leads to a broken life. Yes. Then again, the devil whispers in your ear, you're not going to be able to fly again. You're never going to be able to preach again. You're a fallen preacher. You're never going to be able to sing again. Your voice is not the same as it was five years ago. And on the list goes, on and on. And that's why the Lord tagged the devil just right when he said, the devil is a liar and the father of lies. Amen. You just got to make sure you don't believe the lie. Amen. Because see, God heals, he mends, he makes that which is broken whole again. Can I get a witness? <laughs> even if there's sin involved, even if somebody messed up big time, God can restore when we repent. When we say, Lord, I'm sorry, I failed, I messed up. And we all do in one way or another, one time or another. And then His grace kicks in. His mercy takes over. His compassion that faileth not, the Bible says, reaches down and touches us. Amen. It reaches down and begins to heal us and mends our broken heart. 
Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm looking today at a lot of broken people. We're all broken in one way or another, if we would be honest. Yep. If I gave you an opportunity to take the mic and you had two minutes to share your life in that quick in two minutes, we'd find out just how broken you are. Woo! Amen. So man, how they survive that? By the grace of God. Amen. Amen. How they push through by the mercy of God. Jesus. Most people would have gave up, stayed in bed, pulled the covers over their head. But here we are. Amen. Amen. Jesus said the devil is a liar. Amen. You can fly again. Thank you, Jesus. You will preach again. You will sing again. You will minister again. You will smile again. You will laugh again. You will know joy again. You will know peace again. Hallelujah. Because he is the prince of peace. He's the author of peace. Just stop believing the lie. Amen. Hallelujah. When the devil said, oh, you, you went over the, the line this time. You went too deep this time. You can't be forgiven this time. And that's when you can call him a liar. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Because the blood of Jesus is stronger and greater than your sin. Amen. The blood. Are you, did you hear what I said? Amen. The blood of Jesus is greater and stronger than your mistakes. Amen. The blood of Jesus is greater and stronger than your shortcomings. Hallelujah. Because we're all broken people. Amen. Looking to be made whole again. Amen. We're all broken people. Looking for God to fix us. Amen. Amen. Ooh, the devil has lied, sadly to say, to millions and millions of people. They decided to take the broad and wide road that leads to hell and destruction, the Bible says, rather than the straight and narrow road that leads to life and eternity. This is why Jesus came. Listen, First John chapter uh, 3 verse 8 tells us, uh, Ooh, for one reason Christ came to this earth. He said, for this purpose. He had many a purposes. This was one purpose that he came. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested or made known to the world. Hallelujah. That he might, listen, destroy the works of the devil. Amen. That was one of the purposes of Christ coming to earth. That he would destroy the works. The devil's always working behind the scene trying to so discord among the brethren, stirring up trouble any way that he can. The devil's always behind the scenes, always trying to rob, kill, and destroy relationships, marriages, churches, you name it. That's his job. Amen. But Jesus said, I've come to destroy him. Amen. To destroy those Thank works you. that you don't have to be destroyed. Amen. Give him a praise, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. purpose I've come to destroy the works of the devil. He came to destroy the works of sin in the world for those that let him. To destroy sickness that so easily attacks us these days. More sicknesses than they have names or drugs to cure. But Jesus said I am the cure. Because he is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. Hallelujah. He is the cure. You just got to hold on, church, and be strong until he, until he, until he heals you. Amen? Amen. Amen. How, how, how long, Pastor? However long it takes. Right. It doesn't matter. I trust him. Right. My life, David said, my life and my times are in his hands. Amen. It ain't up to me. That's right. I'm, it's up to me to believe. Right. It's up to me to have faith. That's right. The rest is on him. Thank you. Right. Amen. He does what he Amen. wants. And that's okay Amen. with me because he's a good God. Amen. He never does anything wrong. He never does anything to hurt us. We hurt ourselves. All he wants to do is bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. To destroy the works. See, sometimes people say, oh man, your family never goes through nothing. It's oh, a little bit different than that today. Oh, you're just so blessed. You're blessed going into your... And that's right. I don't know anybody more blessed than I am. Amen. 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 But at the same time, I don't know anybody who goes through as many trials, tests, and tribulations that I do. That's right. Amen. That's how I feel. Amen. Amen. 
I don't know, I've been attacked from, from day one. As soon as I said yes to Jesus and got up from the altar, the, the war has started. That's Amen. Right. Yeah. And it's been a long, hard-fought war for 41 years. Oh. Right? Oh. But guess what? I'm still in the battle. Yeah. And I read the book and we win. Still in the fight. Why? Because the battle says the Bible says that the battle is the Lord's. Amen? Amen. Listen, when I first got saved, nobody gave me a chance. <laughs> they said, this that old hoodlum. Man, this must be another racket this boy's pulling on us. <laughs> Woo, this got to be a con job. That boy, God can't save him. That's the biggest devil in town. <laughs> you know where that boy's been? You know what he's done? That's just who God's after. Right. He said, the sick need a physician, not the healthy. Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Those who, he said, those that are forgiven much, love much. How many have been forgiven a whole lot? Truckloads, yeah. 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 right here. Yes. Then when he couldn't get me that way, when I said yes to Jesus, I get strict with this uncurable disease. Doctors called my wife and said, you better get here quick. Your husband ain't going to make it through the night. Up in the University of Pennsylvania, I had professors fly in from all over the country to look at this rare duck. They said, man, this guy's got a disease we don't know nothing about. They gave me the death sentence. But God. <laughs> God had a purpose. Before I even realized, before I even knew who it was, I said, God's got a purpose. Hallelujah. He can't be saved, but God had a purpose. He's going to die, but God had a purpose. Come on, somebody. I look pretty good for a dead man, don't I? Doctors that pronounce me dead, 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 they're dead. They died long ago. But God, listen, it ain't over until God says it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the report you going to be? Amen. We shall believe the report of the Lord. That's what the Bible says. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Because the devil's always telling you evil reports. Yeah. Uh, you ain't never going to get better at it. Your husband ain't never going to get saved. Your wife's going to be a devil forever. You ladies know I'm on your side, but come on, we got to devil this bad boy out a little bit. Amen. Come on. Amen. The devil is a liar. Amen. 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 As long as there's breath, there's hope. Amen. As long as there's breath, there's hope. My marriage is on the rock. You know it's on the rocks. Amen. Well, put it back on the rock, Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Get off the rocks. Woo, glory be to God. I tell you, come on. I'm just glad you came here. Let me see. Amen. Amen. But God. Hallelujah. Yeah, we got to go through some things. The Bible